What's going on people? It's OSAS here with iPhone Hacks and today I'm going to be showing you Notes in iOS 9. So in iOS 9 they've added a couple new features which I'm going to go over in this video. The first thing we're going to cover is the folders option. So when you jump into your Notes app you will notice that there are now a list of different areas where you have notes. So these are all different folders which contain my notes. I can just open one of these folders and there are, are the individual notes. If I want to move a note from this folder to another folder, I can just tap on that edit button, select the note I want to move, and then hit move to. And this will allow me to move it to a different folder. Or I can create a new folder right there. So I'll just hit cancel. And those are that's how you use folders and notes for iOS 9. Another new thing for the iOS 9 version of notes is it's easier to add images and photos inside of a note. So let's just open up a note right here. This is my test note. And if you want to add a photo, you'll see the camera icon right there. You can just tap on that icon. You can choose to take a photo. I'll grab something from my photo library. I'll tap on that. Go to all photos. I'll add a screenshot that I took earlier today. Hit choose. And that image is now inside of my note. And I can continue writing So I, if I so choose to. So that's a, another great thing about the Notes app for iOS 9. It's just a lot more intuitive and it makes it easier to add things like images inside of your note to save and read later. Uh, the next thing we're going to go over are attachments. So if you have uh, a photo or a sketch or a map inside of any of your notes, you can view all those attachments by hitting this icon right here, the attachments icon. We'll tap on that and it'll take me to all the attachments that I have in all of my notes like so and if you wanna go to one of those notes that contains this image you'll just tap on that right here where it says go to note we'll go to that note and there you have it uh, another thing that we have is creating checklist so a lot of people use notes to create checklist like so here's a list that I've made um, and all you have to do is you tap anywhere on your, your notepad. We're going to tap on that plus icon in here. You'll see that checklist icon. We'll tap on that to create a list. And if you have completed an item, all you have to do is check it like that. And if you hit return, it'll add a space for a new checklist. So it's really convenient for people who do grocery shopping with the Notes app or other things like to-do list. Um, so that's just one new feature for iOS 9 that you guys should definitely check out. Uh, again, another new feature is sketches. So while I'm not an artist, there are a lot of people that actually can draw sketches and do it pretty well. So to draw a sketch, we're going to tap on this icon right here. That's the sketch icon. If that icon isn't readily available, remember you can just tap somewhere on your screen and tap on the plus icon, which will bring up the options for your notes app. And we'll tap on that again to bring up the sketch board. And here you can select your different utensils, change the color right there, and begin drawing something awesome. For those who have better skills, this would probably be a more useful feature, unlike it is for me. And when you're done with that, you're just going to tap on done, and it will be added into the note, like so. So that sketches. It's really useful. There's a ruler that you can use as well. Um, so if you, whoops, and it helps you kind of draw a straight lines. So if I do this, you'll see that the line disappeared. But if I draw right on the edge, that line is perfectly straight. So it's a very, it's a pretty useful feature um, in the Notes app. And it's kind of fun to mess around with. So definitely check that one out as well. Um, now we're going to check out the formatting options that are available for you. So I'll just type a sentence right here. And again, we'll tap on that plus icon, tap on that again, and we'll go right here. And here's where you have your formatting options. So if I want to change that to title, heading, just body text, I can create a bullet, make that a dash list right here, or a numbers list. And of course, um, you can use these in any way you feel fit to create your note. And it's just uh, really useful for people that actually use notes for more than just list or very simple things that actually adds a layer of complexity to the app which um, lends itself to writing 
more things on it, which is probably what they wanted you to do using the Notes app more. So those are the formatting options. You're going to tap on that formatting icon right here to bring up those options and then select whichever option you want and then hit done. And that's that. You can also use the old method of just selecting a piece of text like so and then using the options that are available in that pop-up window. If you have big fingers like me, they make it freaking impossible to do, but there you go. So you can replace, bold, define, share, indent, and so on. So those options are still available, and there are also, of course, these options that we just went over, which are in the formatting menu. Another cool thing is you can add websites and links directly into your notes. So, for example, if I was browsing the iPhone Hacks website, I could save that link and it would appear like this with a little thumbnail and if I clicked on that thumbnail I could go directly to that. So let's just go here and I'll show you an example. So it'll take me directly to that note. Let's say if I was reading an article or something and I wanted to come back to it, that's a nice convenient way to do so. So I'll go to iPhoneHacks.com I'll select the first article I see right here and we'll tap on that share icon and where it says notes we're going to tap on notes and then you can choose which note to save it to and you can also add text so I'm going to choose the iPhoneX.com note and hit save now when I go back to notes I can go back to that note which is right here scroll down and there's the article so again if I click on it it'll take me right to that article it's a nice convenient thing for people who use the notes app to actually take notes and would like to refer back to articles or websites that uh, they discovered I hope you guys don't mind the scenery change but I wanted to make sure to show you guys that you can add map directions and maps inside of a note so in this note I have two locations that I've saved and they show up like thumbnails like this if I click on one of those it'll take me directly to the map. I'll just show you guys that and it will use Apple Maps. So it'll take me to the location. Um, of course in order to save those to your notes we're going to need to open up Apple Maps. Let's uh, use one of my favorite locations. Let's say Allison's Country Cafe. If you guys are ever in Ventura it's a great place to go. Um, you'll tap on that share icon and then you scroll over to notes we'll save it in the notes and I'll say which note you want to save it to or you could create a new note right here I'm going to choose that same note that I had my other maps in and hit save now I'll go back to the notes app and there is Allison's Country Cafe so that's how you save map locations and directions inside the notes app to refer back to whenever you need last thing on our list to cover is the syncing so you, it does sync with iCloud as you can see here I have the iCloud folder and anything that I do in my notes will save to the cloud and I can access it right here on my laptop so I'll just show you an example right here I have these five articles and we're gonna hop on to my computer and I'll show you that those five articles are on my computer any edits that I make here or on my computer will go to either device <clears throat> So here I am on my computer and here are the five articles that I had on my phone that are also on my laptop. And of course if I make any changes here, they will also be added to uh, the Notes app on my phone. So it's just a nice way if you start something on your phone or on your, your Mac, you can work on either device. So there you have it guys, that's the brief overview of the iOS 9 Notes app. Make sure to check out all the features listed when it comes out this fall. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like um, and also subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching, guys.